Katia V5 changing measurement units. So for the case study, I will define a new part. So I'll go up to start mechanical design, part design. I will choose the X and Y plane and I will draw a rectangle that will have, let's say, uh, for the length on the horizontal axis 150 millimeters and for the vertical axis 100 millimeters. I'm gonna pad this over a distance of 50 millimeters and we see that by default CATIA is installed in uh, millimeters but if you want to swap to to something like inches you can do that easily within the the tools the options for for the software it is a little bit different than solidworks or um, fusion inventor or other 3d software because over here have the possibility to only change some units for example you can only change the millimeters uh, to be different so in order to do that you can go up to tools options and over here within the general tab we're gonna have the parameter and measurement we're gonna see that we need to go up to the units window and we have the possibility to go for length we see currently it's set to millimeters we see the symbol that uh, that's for millimeters so mm and for example i will change this to inches we're gonna see the new symbol and what's important is that as soon as you're gonna change the measurement units the software will rescale well in fact it won't rescale it will just display the the newer uh, measurement units so in this case if i'm gonna click on ok and i will go within the initial sketch i'm gonna see that my 150 millimeters were converted to inches so i have the possibility to to go like this this will be 150 inches so quite a, quite a high uh, value but you see that they are automatically rescaled I'm sure that most of you uh, are using millimeters because the vast majority of people using um, CATIA work with these units. But for example, if you if you work um, and if you want to add something in inches, you have the possibility to do that. So I will go back to millimeters, but maybe I want um, to make this 4.75 inches. You can just type in um, the desired value and after that if you're gonna type in IN so that's the short form for inches you will have that automatically rescaled in millimeters so this is a good workaround if you if you are working in um, in inches you can do this 2.5 inches will be uh, the equivalent of 63.5 millimeters and the same uh, will apply to, to all the features. So not only sketches, you can also do that within, uh, within other features. Example for this tool, I wanna go with this uh, with 2.4 inches and I will have the newer updated uh, length for that. But since I'm in millimeters, I will have those uh, rescale and visible over here. So I'm really curious if you are using uh, CATIA in inches. I know that the vast majority of my viewers are from uh, India. After that, uh, the second is from, uh, from Germany. And the third most, um, let's say the most view viewers are from USA. So let me know in the comment section how do you use CATIA because this channel is mostly regarding CATIA I have started to diverse into other software like Blender, Unity and, and so on but um, I'm really curious about this if you are using CATIA with different uh, units 
also maybe for the mass if you're gonna apply on material for example um, let's say I'm gonna go on metal make this uh, with iron or steel I'm just gonna add steel and if I'm gonna go to measure inertia for for the part I'm gonna see that I will have the mass in kilograms you're gonna see the density for the steel so this is the, the default value for that but if I would change that to, to something different like um, we see over here we have the mass it's currently set to kilograms but I can go um, to let's say pounds so this will be LB and again if I'm gonna measure this I'm gonna see that I will now receive the mass of the part uh, in that unit system but the other the density and so on will remain in uh, in the default one from Katia that is mostly used within uh, let's say the most countries okay so i hope you find this video useful if you are also working on parts and collaborate with uh, others that still use the imperial system opposed to the metric system i'm sure that uh, that you have struggled with this um, conversion and visualization of uh, of the units so thanks for watching see you in the next video